Come in and know me better, man. Name that movie. Seriously? Yeah. For me? Casablanca. No. Oh. Sorry. I was wrong. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's of Corbin. I'm Stephanie. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. From all juicy content. It's so juicy. Thank you for some Patreon. Follow us for your Twitter account. Subscribe if you haven't hit the like button, please. How you doing, babe? I'm doing all right. Looking hot. Thanks. Uh, today, this is your first review. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, so, in case some of you don't know, Steph has probably watched almost, I'd say, 99% of the films, 98 maybe, uh, for at minimum the past two years of the channel. The first year she missed some uh, because um, she had to go to uh, uh, her job. Sure. Um, but for the most part, I think she, at minimum, she's caught at least 98% of the films. Um, and so if I ever said anything smart, it's probably just because I stole it from her, uh, <laughs> about what she thought about the film. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. But anyways, so today we are doing a movie review of... I can't even, like, see that. Man Marzian? Man Marzian. And IMDb has translated that to husband material. Uh, yeah, I think that's a dumb name. Uh, I like the, the name in, in Hindi better. <laughs> yeah. But uh, directed by our dost, Anurag Kashyap, uh, a love triangle between a spirited young woman, her outgoing boyfriend, and a fiancé who's husband material. Uh, I've always been intrigued by this film. Uh, it's starring Tapsi Panu, Abhishek Bakshan, and Vicky Kershaw. I've always been intrigued because... I love Anurag, obviously, um, but the fact that he was doing a romance love film, story. a love story, almost like a rom com ish style story, and I was like, Anurag doing that, somebody's got to get their face blown off in this love story. To my shock, no one got their face blown. Uh, sorry, spoilers. spoilers. I'm sorry. It's gonna be a hundred percent spoiler review. I'm so sorry. It came out in 2018. We saw it, I believe, on. Amazon. I think that's where we saw it, so you can go see it there. Um, but uh, yeah, so it'll be 100 cents for all of you. I really, really enjoyed this film. I thought it was such a unique Anyarag take on the genre um, because he obviously, <laughs> it, I think it, it was a well made, I don't even know how I would call it a rom com, it, but it had essences of rom com in it. Uh, it definitely, like, if you were just saying the feel of the film, it was probably more of a rom-com than anything. But it definitely, it, I wouldn't strictly say it's a rom-com. It's more no, of it's a definitely drama. convoluted love triangle. Yes. Um, a, a cute love triangle, to be specific. But what did you think, babe? Did you like it? I did. I liked it. Um, at first, I didn't know where he was going. And I was like, I don't know. But, um, no, I did like it overall. Yeah. I have uh, thoughts, but... Oh, you have thoughts? Oh, good. That's what reviews are about. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I thought it was a, a really unique take um, on the genre and the fact that this takes a very specific thing that happens in India in terms of arranged marriage and love marriages and kind of, I don't know if it strictly, like... Um, like some people are like calling out certain aspects of it, but it definitely shoves it in your face of some of the. I mean, it shed lights. It sheds light on both sides. I think. Yeah. Of the love marriage and the arranged marriage. Because it's such a obviously arranged marriage is in something that we can really relate to here. I mean, obviously we've seen almost three hundred films now, and arranged marriages are. Well, throughout a bunch of these yeah. films, right? Yeah. And so it's not like I don't understand, but it's it's that whole concept of allowing my family to pick who I'm going to spend the rest of my life with is still right. just uh, to uh, Western Americans crazy. 
Uh, but obviously, it's just part of the culture for a lot of people. Shahid Kapoor, as we, we found out, had a had a, and I think it's changed over time. It's not really. I think like, it's like evolved. Yeah, it's it's evolved over time, and so it's not like a strict. Um, like you meet the day of your wedding. And yeah, like, I mean, I guess just, probably maybe some of them maybe, um, but yeah, it's, it's different. But yeah, let's talk about uh, the performances. Um, obviously, our, our our lead two, Topsy and and Vicky. Uh, well, I guess the lead three. Yeah. Um, I thought Topsy did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. Let's just talk about her. What do you think about Topsy? I think she did a really good job. And I, um, I mean, this isn't about her performance, really. But she has a lot of characteristics and um, facial expressions that sometimes that is very reminiscent of uh, Brittany Murphy. Mm-hmm. And um, I love Brittany Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> and um, but her performance was great. And had you I seen her like in anything? Did. I I don't know if I've seen her in a movie, but I know that when Rick was in India to see Andrani, you saw that. We sapped. reacted. Sapped. Yeah. Yeah. You'd reacted to that trailer. Yeah. Yes. Um, at the beginning of the channel, like I said, she wasn't watching all of them, so she didn't see Pink and she didn't see. Um, uh, Badla was the other one, I think. Um, she's, I think she's a phenomenal actress. Uh, she <laughs> was shouted out in one of our songs and all that kind of stuff. But I thought um, she gave this firecracker of a performance. I, I'd say that's like the only way to really describe that um, of this this complex <laughs> girl who doesn't really know what she wants. Yeah, she's, like she's trying to figure herself out. Yeah. And so, and just, it's unfortunate that these two guys are trapped in the middle of her trying to figure out who she is. It was almost frustrating a lot of times. It was like, wants. they'd be going one thing, and then immediately when that thing's about to happen, she would kind of question it or change her mind or do something, regardless of who it was or whether it was Little B or if it was Vicky Kershaw. She was always questioning. Um, but obviously that, that, that made for good drama. I thought the chemistry between Vicky and her was obviously very evident. Mm. Uh, and I thought both of them did. A, and there's one scene I pointed out while I was talking to Steph. Um, once again, spoilers. Once she was on the honeymoon with uh, Abhishek. Um, and she went on her run to go cry. It was almost on her for almost a minute, I feel. Yeah. And I said, Anyarag wasn't really giving her any kind of slack to be anything but real in that moment because obviously he didn't let her like put her hands in her, her her face or cut so she can, it was like literally we saw her and if she was faking her feelings at that moment, yeah. we would have a thousand percent noticed and she knocked it out of the park. Um, but yeah, Vicky, uh, once, this is such a different role. Have you, you know, you, you've seen him, right? You've seen something he's done, right? Probably. <laughs> you didn't see Uri. Uh, Sardar. No, no, no Sardar Udam. Which one's that one? Uh, I don't know their names <laughs> either. <laughs> no, the the big uh, massacre film of the. Oh uh, my gosh! Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, that's yes, him. Yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. And then uh, let's see. I don't know. You saw Razi. He was in Razi. So yeah. You, oh, and, and Raman Raghav. Yeah, you've seen. And Masan. Yeah, you've seen a lot of him. Um, Gangs of uh, yeah. Whisper. Uh, no, Silhouette, sorry. He wasn't. <laughs> He's credited as a silhouette behind window grill. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. His credit on IMG for, for Gangs of Whisper. But yeah, I liked his um, role and I liked his performance a lot because it, it one, he, he killed it. Um, and many times you really saw his emotion. You really saw his, his love. He was also, once again, a boy in this who kind of, he loved her, I think, but he was also doesn't really understand what full love really meant a as well. But he was like, I like being with you. I like having sex with you. Uh, <laughs> all this kind of stuff. So if you'll stay around, <laughs> so if I you guess. stay around. But then obviously he didn't show up multiple times. Or well, I was going to say they're like, they were very much kindred spirits in the way that they're trying to figure out who they were. Mm -hmm. Because they would be like gung ho, like, I'm there. I'm doing this. We're going to do this. And then last minute, not show or. Like back out, change their mind, be halfway down the road, and then turn around. Like I mean, <laughs> like, yeah. 
A hundred percent. There was only one constant who knew exactly what he wanted in the love triangle. Yeah. And it was Abhishek. And it was Abhishek Bakshan, which one of my, I think one of his best performances for me, this obviously Ludo, um, I thought he did well in, in Guru, but um, obviously we, we, I think we've said this a lot. We, we always thought he was a very underrated actor, but as if he gets a director who gives him a good script and kind of helps him along the way, Anurag, um, was it Anurag Basu? Is that who did Ludo? I can't remember who did Ludo. Anyways, but you remember him in Ludo, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, um, but I thought he did a, a really good job. Anurag created like one of the most non-toxic men I've seen in an Indian film. <laughs> this, this whole character of kind of just giving her her space outside of he did say, I did take advantage. I knew, I right. knew uh, yeah. like... I knew you were going to marry me regardless because I knew he was going to kind of dip and I I kind of took advantage of that situation. So obviously that's not that's not great. But in terms of like it felt like for the most part he he cared for her. He actually Mm -hmm. loved her. Uh, What was getting to at least loving her as much as you can in an arranged marriage um, at the beginning um, in, in giving her her space. And I thought he was a really unique character that that they kind of created. Um, his his one scene where um, he came home late and she was like questioning him, like you could have told, told me. me and everything. Yeah, he just I felt like he did incredible. Yeah. Um, and he, <laughs> there's certain moments when 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 Little B yells or gets a guttural. He's, he identical to his father. He's so his dad. It's crazy. Like he when he ah. Oh! Sounds yeah. exactly yeah. like his dad's guttural yell. <laughs> it's crazy. And even his face, like even his face in, in changes certain moments, in yeah. certain moments. And you're like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. He looks just like his young dad yeah. in those moments. Um, but, yeah, the, the, the whole kind of love triangle, letting hair kind of fall in love with him. And then ultimately she, he found out that she wasn't actually being truthful with him. Um, even though obviously they're in a arranged marriage, but then he, he was at least good about it, I think, and was like, I. I mean, he was. I mean, to be like, you can get out of this marriage, like. Oh, I'm not. I'm gonna take the blame. Right, like the whole thing, like to just and just hold her while she's processing, and and like, give her as much space as, she needs, and like, I don't. That that's just an insane concept. Yeah. To think about. I mean, I understand it's arranged marriage, so they didn't know each other very well. But just to think about, like, if that were me, like, I don't think I could be like, just take your time. We'll figure it out. Like, you can leave. I'd be like, what the heck, man? You can tell your ex-boyfriend we just had sex. <laughs> right? Like, what? It's it's fine. Yeah. We're, we're all cool with it here. Like... Uh, <laughs> Um, but I did um, like the 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 fact that Anurag kind of wrote this whole thing, and it was kind of almost because obviously in like the notebook, it's who was the the other one that she was going to marry? Was he a stable guy? Was he nice or was he mean? At, at no, he point? was very nice. He, he was very okay. sweet. So it's almost that kind of story a little bit, but in that one she went with. Um, the the one she had more passion with, right. which obviously in this story is Vicky. Um, but obviously they were different stages of their life, and um, but it's it's actually very similar to that. Now that I think about it. But I was gonna say like you know like there's there's different kinds of loves, right? So like you you experience different kinds of love with different people, and like like she was saying to him when he finally came around and he's like growing out his hair and he's <laughs> becoming who whoever <laughs> he thinks she wants him to be um and she she's like you know like i love you and i will always be thankful that you were my first love but it was like very much just a passionate love like there was nothing like at its core holding it together 
except for passion. Yeah. Yeah. They they were they were yes in love passionately and um yeah. but it there was like there was nothing else to hold it, which is something she was almost right at when she was in the car with him. Like she was almost there. She almost hit it on the head and then just like flew by it. I was like, oh this you could have you could have arrived here so much faster. Yeah, and then obviously it you have to live with the fact that if you do go in that route of going with the guy that you're not as passionate with, are you going to eventually resent yourself for not going with the one that you are, do have that passion with and you just have a boring life and then you're resentful later? But but going I going with would, the going with the safe one. But I would venture to say the love that she would have with him when they get to that state would be, would be so stronger much deeper and because intimate. they grew that way. Yeah, because yeah. because the passion would be there when the passion needed to be there, but yeah. when the support and like deepness and intimacy that is just like, you know, cuz the world can rock you to your core. Yeah. Like when that is needed, like it'll be there with that relationship as opposed to the Vicky relationship. Yeah. So you think they'll kind of eventually grow into the being the passionate relationship. Yeah. Um, as it, but it did take a very interesting look at, oh, she was like, I, I know what you look like naked, but I don't know if you yeah. like fritters or I don't know what the else she, fries. well, yeah, whatever, what else she said yeah. uh, at that moment. But it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's, that's one of the crazy things that uh, like to people that haven't been accustomed to, um, arranged marriage, yeah. uh, like most people, at least in America, um, um, it's 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 like you don't even know that person, yeah. like at all. Well, it's like that's like something I said to you is like it's mind blowing to me to think that like I would be married and like just meet this person and then be expected to <laughs> sleep with them. <laughs> like I mean, yeah. That's just crazy to think about. Yeah. I mean, we it's it's like shock when like people date for just a few months and then they decide to get married in America because like they, you don't even know this person. Yeah. Like they, what? they could be a they could be a murderer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um but yeah, the um God, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh man. Yeah, that happens to me all the time. ADD, you know. You live with me. <laughs> um but yeah, the I another aspect of it is I loved all the music, which is Something you don't typically get in an Anurag film. I loved all the music and all the dancing. Yeah, the especially twins towards the, the twins dance. And we we loved the whole aspect of the twins. Right? And I was like, what's up with the twins? I lo- and I looked up some things. And some people on the internet said it was just every single time they showed up, it was one of them was like kind of dealing with something. They were confused. And so they would see the twins kind of or they would be dancing behind them or something like that. So they were kind of visual representations of the dilemma or the confusion or like the two aspects of yeah. the personality and i was like that sounds correct to me i i could see that being the thing if you guys think of a different theory for the twins you can let us know but i thought they were really apparently they're like really famous like the especially the beginning ones would uh, were dancing on the street mm-hmm. um were like real famous twin kind of indian dancers um but they i, I thought they were all really cool and uh, like the main theme what was the main theme? The it came back like a hundred times. Well, I don't. I mean, I don't know what it's called. No, like the chorus line of it. I don't know what it is. No, oh, because I think it was in English. But anyways, the one that kept coming back, and it was by our our dost, Ahmet Trivedi. Uh, so no shock there uh, as why it was so good. But yeah, I thought all the music and he the way he. <laughs> we also talked to him about this in in the review in the interview that. He doesn't like to do musical numbers just that have no addition, like um, that don't have anything really to do with the story. Oh, just to have one. And so it was kind of cool to see Topsy kind of break into dance, but it was kind of it was like she's dancing because she's at a at a wedding or at a at a something. Uh, but it was like just to see this style of film coming from an Anya Kashyap film. Uh, it's just it was wonderful to watch um oh he did a great job yeah it was great um i really enjoyed it and were there aspects you didn't like um 
Well, like I said in the beginning, I didn't know where he was going. Yeah. And I was kind of like, oh my gosh, am I going to be like mad about like her choice or like what happens to these poor guys or like, I don't know. Um, but uh, I've, no, I, I enjoyed it. I would watch it again. Yeah. It's, it was, uh, it's one of those that I think it's probably his most rewatchable film. But that goes for most rom coms. At least rom comish genre. Because I, you're you're happy in the end. Because you don't always want to watch ugly. You uh, don't you don't always no. want to watch Gangs of Wasper, even though they're obviously like superior films. Um, but they're not ones that like you don't always want to watch The Godfather. I know you haven't seen The Godfather, but like this genre lends to rewatchability more, which is why a lot of people's favorite films are rom coms right. because it's just it's, just it's an, light. Even, even though this is not, I wouldn't. <laughs> It's still not a, even though technically I think it would fall under rom comish genre more than any other genre, it's still not a full on, it's it's still right. an Anya Akashyap film. Right. It's like, it's like one of those that you can just have on, like if, it's like when you're like, um, what, like doing folding laundry and like you just want like that comfort thing on, you'll turn on something that you just know you're going to feel good. Mm-hmm. This would be one of those. Yeah, I would say so. Um, it's got good music. It's got, I mean, it's got love, drama. It's funny. It's cute. Yeah, and I think uh, another thing, the writer and the director, because um, it looks like, even though I thought Anyarg usually tries to write, but it looks like uh, Kan Kani... Kanika was the writer of this film, um, kind of also poked at some of the intrusiveness of families in Indian society and how they deal with either marriage or arranged marriage or just asking questions like that one that asked her, how's the honeymoon going? And then she kind of, she went off. Yeah. (laughs) She's like, I didn't ask her about her honeymoon. Um, But it's uh, yeah. Would, Would you say there's one culprit in this relationship that was more to blame than another? In the love triangle? Um, or do you think they were like, all kind of equally? Well, I, I, uh, Vicky and 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 Tapsy were yeah, obviously. Yeah, it's them. I mean, that's. But then also, he was still agreeing to the arranged marriage that he knew that's that true. she probably didn't want at the time. But in his defense, he asked her straight out at their first meeting, "Are you ready to get married?" That's true. He did. And she said no, but then she showed up and got married anyways. It's true. So she did once again. She didn't know what she wanted at she all. She did not. She know. had zero clue uh, what she wanted. And I was, I was wondering if they were going to have them get together in the end. And I, she, Anira kind of shocked me because I thought they were just going to leave it open ended. Mm-hmm. But then when they finally, once again, spoilers if you're still here, weirdos. Um, <laughs> fi- and when he was like, I, "We still have, I, uh, like a." We have still have like a reservation or whatever in, in mm, Kashmir, Kashmir, yeah. yeah. Um, at the end, and so it's assumed that they get back together and yeah, kind of hopefully fall in love for real and live happily ever after. Or she leaves and goes to Australia to, to get Vicky. <laughs> 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 Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, I think it's uh, I think it was a really really good film. I, I really enjoyed this film. Um, it's not really a shock. There's only been one on your film I really haven't enjoyed. It was Dev D. Dev D, which is shocking because of Anurag and the amount of people in that that were really good and all that kind of stuff. And it's just so beloved. Yep. But maybe I just don't like Dev Das, the story. Maybe that's it. Who knows? Anyways, let us know what the next uh, film we should watch by Anyurag or others. Uh, yeah, well, this one, well, almost, we almost got to this one in, in Romance Month, but uh, the new films that came out, RRR and stuff like that, I think that came out, right? Romance Month was February, and you had, like, all kinds of stuff coming out. Yeah, that was a bunch. Anyways, but let us know what the next film should be that we should review. Which one do you want to review? Um, I don't know. A Shah Rukh Khan film? Yes. <laughs> Stephanie I, loves Shah Rukh Khan. I love Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> <laughs> She's a Shah Rukh Khan stan. <laughs> Anyways, let us know down below. <laughs>